Sometimes a less familiar spelling of a word has changed logically to a more common one. This process is similar to one known as reanalysis. This is the way in which, over time, people replace an obscure word within a phrase with one that sounds similar but is more understandable and seems to make more sense. A good example of reanalysis is the development of the phrase to curry favour, meaning to ingratiate yourself with someone. As used in the sentence, the prime function of MPs is to promote the interests of their constituents, not to curry favour with the party leadership. The original form of this phrase was actually to curry favour, which probably sounds rather puzzling. Favour was the name of a chestnut horse in a 14th century French tale, who was renowned for his cunning and duplicity. To curry favour would literally have meant to stroke him or groom him, where curry meant to groom a horse with a special comb. Over time, the expression came to have the extended meaning of to act deceitfully or hypocritically. As time passed, the French horse was forgotten and the name favour was replaced by the similar sounding word favour, which probably made more sense to later writers than favour did. The mistake was then repeated by other writers and eventually it became the accepted form of the phrase.